Mm. Nothing like a cup of coffee in the morning, am I right? Whew. In today's video, I want to talk once again about LumaFusion 2.4 and a little bit about 2.5. So approximately one month ago, I made a video about LumaFusion 2.4 and 2.5's new features, which is coming soon. And uh, if you haven't checked out that video, it's down in the comment section and description below. Now, one of the reasons I made this video today is simply because I don't want you to plan ahead for something that you're not going to be uh, happy about and you're going to be dis disappointed because uh, it's not going to work. And uh, that's one of the one of the things that made me also make this video. Now, one of the things I want to talk about first is someone which personally I'm extremely stoked about, which is ECE's keyframes. Uh, this is not coming in 2.4, so we would have to wait for 2.4 point something or 2.5 in the future, which might be around May next year. So we will have to wait a little bit longer for ECE's keyframes, which is a bummer, but it, for me it's understandable because they want to make it perfect before they release something which is really good. Now, one of the other features which you guys, like me, is really stoked about is the new alpha support. Now, what is alpha and what does it support? Now, first you have, let's talk about alpha. What is alpha? It's the same as a PNG transparent file. So if I would take a photo of myself like this, I would stand like this, you know, whatever. And um, I would take that snapshot over to Affinity Photo and I would mask myself out, right? And by doing the masking of myself, I can make, turn myself into a separate layer. So it's only me which is visible and not the background. So that will make the background transparent. And then I would export that photo uh, as a PNG file without background. Then I would have myself standing like this. I could put myself in the video with no background. I could put myself on the thumbnail and make lines around myself or something like that. So that is basically PNG transparency. And the same works with alpha. You sort of make the lines, let's say if you make just a shape inside of LumaFusion, then you can make that transparent. So that means you can put that over your next project or your future project and it will have no backgrounds. Uh, so that means it's basically drag and drop transparency. So that's how the alpha system works. Now, when they announced alpha for LumaFusion, I was extremely stoked because that meant I could make, you know, some kick ass because like I mentioned in that video, I wanted the first thing I wanted to do was to actually make that portal effect where I'm kind of teleporting through a portal. But making a portal in LumaFusion, it's it's not going to work. You can make a square which is looking like a square. That's it. So it's basically not possible. Now, when they announced Alpha, I thought that I could make that portal in After Effects for them to share that with you and then to, you know, use it in LumaFusion. But what happens when you import alpha files to LumaFusion? They don't work. They don't work. You will see something like this because alpha is not supported on the iPad. This is not LumaFusion's or LumaTouch's problem. It's Apple being Apple. So it's not supportive for iOS on iPad and iPhones. There is a ton of work around you need to do to make this work. And uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, so I will have to, you know, try my best to figure out something else. And once I do, I will share that with you. But that's basically how the alpha support is is working with LumaFusion. And that's basically one of one of the key things which I was excited about when I heard Alpha, that I could make the portal animation, especially the portal animation, because it's something that has been on my, on my mind for a very long time, since it was requested like one year ago. And uh, that was a real bummer that I figured out that, you know, the iPad doesn't support Alpha files and it's just Apple being Apple. Let's say you have some of my presets. You have the lower thirds, which, or the pro lower third pack, which you can find on, um, on my website, which is also all the animation that you see on the screen here right now. All of the animation is in that 
preset pack or that template pack. Now, the good thing about the alpha support in LumaFusion is that you can now change the text of those lower thirds animations. You change the name and you are really happy with the animation, but you don't want to, you know, drag it and drop it. And there's so many layers to a lot of them because it takes a really long time to create an animation like that. And once you have or once you are satisfied with the animation, you can export that with transparency. That means next time you're gonna apply your lower thirds from the Pro Lower Thirds Pack, you can simply take that one file with your animation on it, drag on top of your clip, because you already rendered this and drag a top of a clip and then you will have a transparent lower thirds overlay which you can place wherever you want there is no limitation to placements or or size and scale and and such so that's basically the uh, only thing that i had to say in this video i really wanted to give you a heads up just so you won't get disappointed over the alpha because if you're like me that was a real like bummer when i figured out that ios ipad doesn't support alpha it's it doesn't support it so that's a real bummer for me but hopefully this is working as i think it will that you can kind of export videos or transparent videos from LumaFusion like photos in Affinity Photo and stuff and that will make life a little bit easier when it comes to creating your own presets and making your own stuff which is requiring you know transparency so you don't have to use chroma key to remove the black or green or black or green background that will make life so much easier for for all of us. So with that said, that's the end of the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you made it this far, I've already made some presets. You know, I made like 50 or 100 social media assets for you to use with LumaFusion 2.4 and you can also use them now. And I have some teasers which you can get down in the, all the way down at the bottom of the description. And the password to this one is one, two, three. The password to get the presets is one, two, three. It's only a few presets, but I just want to want you to test them out to see if you are enjoying this. And we have the uh, buy all presets, which is now on sale. And all of these brand new 100 to 200 uh, social media assets will be added to the buy all preset pack. So if you want to achieve that as well, make sure to check out the buy all preset pack before the sale ends so password is one two three the, the link is all the way down at the bottom of the description this is only available for a few hours so you have a few hours to claim the free assets to test out with your project oh with that said thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video